What's going on YouTube? Kyle can come at you with another Final Fantasy or Keep a Relic Draw video. If you guys are enjoying this, please share like comment, and subscribe to share your support. Okay, so let's take a look at the third phase of the Super Soul Break uh festival banner. Did I click it? Yeah, I did. Okay, so no, stop. First up, we have a new Super Soul Break for Vanille, the physician staff. Uh, 65 attack, 117 magic, 136 mine. Quite good stats. It's a small boost to holy damage, which is actually pretty interesting uh, i think that's uh gonna be kind of good for when someone's get buffed you know double hit alexander if you need your diagas to hit harder but for right now diaga's hitting hard enough i believe anyway changes vanilla soul break to miracle prayer which has a large amount of hp and one ability used to all allies plus 10 percent mine plus not plus 10 percent plus 10 mine for mastery so although this weapon seems underwhelming i think it's actually a really really good uh soul break uh we don't have any um kiraga well, we have one but we don't have many we have two ewe kiraga heals one of them is minwoo which is instant cast but minwoo is a subpar character um you know unless you need like white if you need white magic minwoo is you know he's the guy but if you want like a versatile character like this is actually really really good on vanille it doesn't have a, a really good secondary effect it's okay uh we're still one ability used to all allies that's not the best thing but it's not the worst thing I think I, I much or I prefer this over um, over having re-raise though, and, and as a as a secondary effect to a white mage, uh, uh, yeah, be, yeah, be, yeah. white mage soul break, because at, at the very least, like this is this is always going to be useful. Because like if I need to heal everybody, that means I've used probably used at least one ability on three fifths of my team, so. Yeah. Also, like I have Vanille's AOE heal already, so I think this this would just be a a, a, a great upgrade for me, uh, because that's what Kira level, and having just having a Kiraga level AOE heal would just be great as well. Also, has decent stats. Next up, we have the Organics, making a return. One thirty two attack, change the Cloud Slowbreak to Blade Beam, and it deals three successive range attack to all targets. Now, this isn't the best anymore, especially since we have Fenrir Overdrive. But, if you do have Fenrir Overdrive and not this, and you end up pulling this, that's great, because that's not, plus another 10%, not a 10%, plus another 10 attack to Cloud. And not only that, um, you can't target what Fenrir Overdrive hit, so in events like, or ultimates like the one we just had, the Grievous, um, the Grievous Sacrifice, this is actually be really good um, over um, Fenrir Overdrive, for the initial hits at least. Uh, because you could actually get significant um, damage on all three of them at once. As opposed to, you know, just randomly hitting them with your uh, Fenrir Overdrive uh, opening uh, attack. So. It has its uses, but, like, this really isn't that great anymore. I would not advise pulling for this at all. Next up, we have the Machine Gun Laguna Super Soul. We're making a quick return, actually. Because um, it was just released in the Final Fantasy VIII event. 124 attack. I'm pretty sure that that's quite high for a gun. Uh, it's obviously a ranged weapon. Change Laguna Soulbreak to Desperado. Deals 6 range attack to all enemies with a high chance to slow them. Now, that, like, again, like, that's a 100% chance to slow. So I think it says a high chance in case the boss is immune to slow so people, you know, don't start complaining. But yeah, I think this is a really great soul break on a pretty good character as well. Having this would have helped me out a lot in Grievous Sacrifice, but you know what? I ain't have it, so I had to suffer a little bit. And it's fine, because you guys like to watch me suffer. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have the Maduin's Horn for Terra. 60 attack, 135 magic, 69 mind. It's quite decent stats for a rod, actually. Changes Terra's uh, Soul Break to Magic Attack Missile, deals 10 powerful non of magic attacks to one target. Now, this is a great uh, Soul Break. Uh, for someone for someone like Terra, at least, um, especially if like you know you, you combo this with uh, focus, magic tech, uh, magic infusion, and Terra's gonna be hitting like a truck. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess, for those of you that that, that end up getting Yuna Super Soul Break, um, you're probably going to be hitting for about the same amount as this, or Yuna's Burst Super Soul Break, because uh, I'm pretty sure they have the same multiplier, but. I mean, because you know burst mode, but again, like that's the worst burst super soul break that, that that's been released as of yet. I, I mean, that doesn't stop me from wanting it because I, I just like 10 too, but it's just one of the worst ones. I still want it. Next up, we have the Brotherhood 126 attack, 
Okay, attack for a sword. This was actually an old school relic. This is making a return as well. Spiral cut and leads a powerful attack on all targets. Um, this is essentially this banner's version of Revolver that that, that Brotherhood pulled. <laughs> Poor guy. I Man, I got two revolvers. But this all breaks okay. It used to be a lot better. But even back then, I still want to slice and dice over this. <laughs> back when I used Titus a lot. Next up, we have the corpse uniform. I really like this. Um, this little armor. Uh, it starts off by having Tony attack. That's pretty good for light armor. Most characters can equip light armor, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Um, 121 defense and res. That's good. And the, the, the soul brig is Stormborn. Chamberlain empower the user with lightning. For those of you that don't know what um, you know the N elements do in this game, they're actually really, really useful. Um, in you know in the given scenarios, um, the I, I think the best part about the ends in this game is that they offer a form of mitigation to whatever um, you know whatever le uh, element you're empowered with. So this one will give lightning was like twenty percent lightning resistance. Or so. Um, it also like powers. It also gives all her attacks lightning element, or rather, it gives her normal attack lightning element, and then it powers up her lightning elemental attacks, such as um, soul breaks abilities and super soul breaks. And like the, the percentages are a bit different on each, and I don't remember them off the top of my head. Um, I'd have to look them up again on Reddit, but it shouldn't be too hard to find them. But I, I think it's a really good uh, soul break, along with being light armor. That has plus 20 attack. You don't really find that on light armor all too often. That's quite good. And a lot of good characters can equip light armor as well. Um, you can find light armor easily, more easily equipped than heavy armor. So that's always a, uh, a boon. Next up, we have the Zen Tetsuken for Gilgamesh. 137 attack. It's okay attack for a katana. Um, Tainted Gilgamesh's slow break to repentance. Deals three physical attacks to the one enemy. Grant the user. Protect, shell, and haste. Now, I don't think this slow break is too... Like, I don't think it's good, but I don't think it's bad. I think it's like, it's okay. Um, you know, it's not it's not a bad slow break by any means. It grants Gilgamesh... It does three attacks. It grants Gilgamesh. Um, protect, shell, and haste. You know, that that's good for self-buffing. Uh, would have helped me a bit in Grievous Sacrifice, but we don't talk about that right now, alright? Um, but it's just, his, all his soulbreaks seem to be three attack, which is just a little, a little disheartening. Um, I think he just got his, his burst super soul break in Japan, though. I'm not sure what it does, I just, I was reading about it last night when I was dead tired. Oh, wait, I don't mean, la by last night, I mean, like, six in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, he just got his burst super soul break in Japan. Um, those of you that lurk on Reddit probably know what I'm talking about, but those of you that don't, well, you'll know at some point. Um, it's also very similar to one of Zell's, uh, Soul Breaks. It's actually the exact same thing as one of Zell's Soul Breaks, except Gilgamesh is just a better character. I can't really say he's a better character, because he doesn't, he doesn't, he, he's a more flexible character is what I should say, because... By saying better, it makes it seem like Gilgamesh does what Zell can do, but better. But he's just more flexible. So he's uh, has, has a lot more usefulness all around. I do like Zell, though. Next up, we have the Yoshimitsu. Um, 125 attack. It's a dagger. And it's Thancred Soul Break to... Um, or Thancred? Is it Thancred or Thancred? Than... Thancred. I, what? Than? Right? Because Yeah, T-H-A-N. Than? Eh, I don't know. Um, deal four physical attacks to, um, and low, temporarily lower the defense of one target. Now, I think this is armor breakdown. Like, this is okay. Like, if I pulled this, I'd probably be a little upset because I don't use Thancred at all. Um, if I had this, I might think about it, though. I might use him as, like, a secondary damage dealer. I don't think the multiplier is too high on this because this is a quite old soul break. Um, for those of you that actually have Thancred and Yustola, you'll know that we had the Final Fantasy XIV event ages ago. And we're actually getting Final Fantasy XIV Realm. So if you pull this now, you might be okay. But the Final Fantasy XIV banner coming up is actually going to be pretty decent, if I remember correctly. I'm not entirely sure. But, you know, Thancred's an okay character. He has Bard. Um, he has Ninja. And I think he has Five Star Thief as well. So he has Thief's Raid. I don't know if he can use it for max damage. Cause I have to look at his speed. But if at level 65, he hits 164 speed, I think he's he'll be right on par to hit uh, max damage with Thief's Raid at level... And either in Synergy or at, at uh, level 80. At least that, that, that's what 
that's what what Riku uh, and a few other characters are at Riku uh, I think Locke and Zidane anyway finally we have Fang's Glaive 137 attack for a spear that's quite good these five range physical attacks the random targets with a moderate chance to blind them this actually would have helped out a lot as well on the um on the previous ultimate fight along with Sephiroth's uh, Shadow Flare but it's an okay soul break uh, I mean I like it or rather I want it just because I like Fang but it's really not that doesn't really have all that much usage to be honest but like where it does have a usage it definitely shines um so that's the thing anyway let's do the 100 gem draw get a three star and then i can move on with the rest of my day or take a nap because i am tired that would still be moving with the rest of my day though wouldn't it because time would still be advancing while i'm doing something so three star i'm calling it right now there it is there we go nice another one of these things one fancy five right circle it yeah there we go anyway guys if you did enjoy this video please be sure to like comment answer to share your support and do what you're reading all your comments be sure to share your videos with your friends that enjoy final fantasy right keep it as a realist help me out along with leaving a like and don't forget to follow me on all my social media link down below including the discord link which will be linked in the description so for those of you that would like to join in and chat with us about final fantasy Rick keeper digimon pokemon or whatever uh, it may be uh you can do that and i'll see you guys next time later